Muy buenas, hoy juego a una aventura gráfica muy original, en la que Prim, tras perder a su madre, descubre que es la hija de la muerte y quiere escapar de su controlador padre. Empiezo con la primera parte de Prim titulada Un gesto funesto. Y recuerda, si te gusta el vídeo, dale a like. Y si te gusta el canal, suscríbete y dale a la campanita. Y si te interesan los juegos largos, suscríbete a mi canal secundario. Tienes los enlaces en la descripción. Cortar hilo de la vida. Estas son las parcas. Hold on a second. Yes, mortal, I'm talking to you. Are you really sure you know what you're doing there? Cutting a person's life thread results in death. And that's irreversible. Clotho, say something. Lachesis, don't interfere with the human's decision, sister. As goddesses of fate, we are supposed to remain neutral observers. Am I right, Atropos? Atropos reminded her sisters that they were arguing to no avail. The mortal's choice had been predetermined long ago. Oh, Atropos, can't you speak like a normal person for once? Atropos found her speech quite normal and declined to dignify the remark with a response. So, human, what will it be? Claro, cuando habla de humano, habla del jugador. No del personaje. O sea, estas manos representan las manos del jugador. ¿Quieren cortar el hilo de la vida de quién? No lo sé. Pero no me permite... Dice, tú decides, pero no, no. No permite... Que no cortes el hilo. Es obligatorio cortar el hilo. I don't like this part of the story. Me neither, to be honest. And yet it had to be told. Había que cortarla. Era obligatorio. What? Wait. I remember this place. We were here together many times. El hilo de la vida era de esta mujer. Sombra. Right. What did you call it again? The world in between. We thought it a fitting locale for our encounters. I mean, a mortal woman and death. Encounters. Ah, charming as always, Thanatos. These shadows on the wall. Are they the souls you couldn't... Yes. They are trapped here forever. Reminding me of my mistake. You have to forgive yourself, Thanatos. I would much prefer to leave the past in the past. You won't ever change, will you? Death is as unchangeable as it is inevitable. Now show yourself already! Ugh, there's no reason to put on an act with me. Hello, Morwen. ¿Qué error cometió la muerte? No lo dice, no sé si más adelante no, nos enteraremos. Se queda embarazada. O se había quedado. se quedó embarazada. You look dead? I am afraid so. Y esta es Prim. Y ella muere. Prim, is she? The child is all right. There is no need to worry. No, she's not. She needs someone by her side. Especially now. Remember what the goddesses of fate said when she was born? A power over life and death would awaken in her. As soon as... As soon as she turns 16, I know. Forgetting things is not in my nature. Listen to me. Up until now, it wasn't a problem for you to keep to yourself and do your... thing. We got along just fine without you. But now... Now things have changed. She needs help. Well, I have heard the orphanages these days are not as bad as people make them out to be. 
Is this all a cosmic joke to you? She's your daughter too. How am I supposed to take care of a child? You know who I am. I know you have your responsibilities, but your daughter is one of them now. She needs you. I need you. So you'll have to find a way to make it work. Promise me you'll take care of her. I... Promise me! So be it. I promise. Good. You be nice to her, you hear? Fine. I will try. Then I think I'm ready for whatever comes next. Goodbye, Morwen. Safe travels. Bueno, pues el... La muerte se enamora de una mortal y tiene una hija. Ella muere y ahora la muerte se tiene que ocupar de su hija. I will need to make preparations before transporting the child to my realm. Death has a daughter. This is ridiculous. In the land of the living, Prim didn't have the slightest idea that Thanatos, the god of death, was already on his way to her. The girl's mind was engulfed in a haze of grief, for her beloved mother Morwen had passed away in a terrible accident only weeks before. Mourning makes mortals do strange things. In Prim's case, she did what any 15-year-old would do. Go, Go somewhere, somewhere forbidden. forbidden. Away. She never let me up here. Prim, are you sure this is a good idea? It's really dark up there. Don't chicken out again, Triss. C can't we at least wait for better weather? That this storm is making everything twice as creepy. Oh, come on, scaredy pants. You promise don't bail out now. Do I really have to? Tristan, please. This is important to me. Going through Mom's things? might help me feel close to her even if it's just for a moment oh fine but but i'm staying on the ladder whoa what is all this i have no idea but we're here to find out pues Este sitio estaba prohibido por alguna razón. Trist, behind you, a, a three-headed dog. <laughs> Qué bueno. <What? laughs> Don't worry, it already ate a little kid today. Ha, ha. Hmm, I wonder where this is. Mom usually didn't take pictures of houses. She was more of a portrait photographer. That's Tristan's place. We were neighbors for as far back as I can remember. After Mom died, his family took me in. Ugh, I really hope Mom didn't put that thing in my crib. Although, that could explain the nightmares. I never knew Mom was into music. It probably wasn't hers. Pienso para topos. A bag of mole food? That's strange. ¿Quién querría tener topos? This part of the attic is so dark, I won't be able to find anything without some light. And yeah. we all know the coolest <laughs> things are hidden in the darkest places. Necesito una linterna o algo así. Hmm, strange. The floor makes a different sound here. The floor at our house does that all the time. And you should really get that fixed. It drives me up a wall. Madame can move to a hotel anytime she pleases. Ha ha. 
You do know I'm thankful you and your family took me in. I mean it. Even with my dad doing his weird magic tricks all the time? It's so embarrassing. <laughs> A price I'm willing to pay to avoid homelessness. And to live with your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that too. Hey, I mean, at least you know your dad. Mom never told me anything about mine. So, what's this under my feet? <gasps> Jackpot! A box! And... <gasps> a present? It must be for my birthday. But, but isn't your birthday... next week? In three days and two hours, to be precise, Mom planned ahead. Oh... It's like these things were waiting here for me. Eh, mueve la rueda del ratón hacia arriba para abrir el inventario. Tenemos un diario. Hola mamá, sé que no querías que humeara entre tus cosas del desván. Pero quería sentirme cerca de ti, perdóname. De hecho de menos, pero no han traducido la el texto que sale aquí. Y se supone que debería ser el mismo. Eso no lo han puesto aquí. Lo han dejado en inglés. Y tenemos las tareas. O sea, tenemos un diario que va explicando lo que... Prim lo que quiere. O lo que piensa. Y tenemos las tareas. Buscar algo de interés entre las cosas viejas de mamá. Y tenemos el regalo. Mom's camera. It meant the world to her. And she wanted me to have it. Mom's beloved instant camera. It has the brightest flash I've ever seen. Ya está. Ya tenemos la linterna. Strange box. It's surprisingly heavy for its size. I can't lift it, but I can try to open it. It's locked, but there's no keyhole. Only a skull-shaped notch. There must be a way to get it open. I'm sure Mom hid something around here. Actualiza, claro. Ahora se actualiza el diario. Abrir la caja. ¿Habrá alguna manera directa de abrir el diario? Con la J, como siempre. Entonces ahora, seguro que está lo que necesito, la llave, estará aquí. Con la cámara. Let's see if we can shed some light on the matter. Oh, it looks like the batteries are dead. I should ask Tristan if he can get me some. A ver, necesito pilas para la cámara. Tristan, can you get me some batteries for the camera? They're in the living room. Uh, sure. But be careful. You know me. I'm graceful as a... Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm okay. <sighs> He'll never learn. Here's the batteries and a cookie. Thanks. Vale, tengo las pilas y por qué me da una galleta? It may be old, but not old enough to stop me from eating it. Ah, se la ha comido. Yummy. Porque sí. Bueno, usar las pilas con la cámara. That should do the trick. Y usar la cámara. Con el rincón oscuro. Let's try it again. I should have a look at the photo. Maybe I can spot something interesting. So that's what it looks like over there. 
More boxes. Wow. Y aquí hay. Esta es la llave para abrir la caja. But wait. What's that shiny thing? Hmm. Something must have reflected the flash. I'm sure I can find it in the dark now. Nada más. Y es esto. Osa reluciente, pero aparte de eso, hay algo más. Cajas. Another big pile of stuff. No. A necklace. Hmm. Must have been mom's. I didn't know her taste was so morbid. Mm, no lo sabes tú bien. Oh, it has a skull pendant. That's weird. Vale, usamos la, el collar con la caja. The tiny skull fits right into this little notch. Let's see what's in here. What? What was that? Okay, things are getting way too strange up here. Prim, can we go now? Please? You know what? You go ahead. I need a few minutes alone anyway. Are you sure? Yep, but leave me some cookies. You better make it quick. They say time heals all wounds. Yet grief is not so simple. The pain lingers. A persistent ache that refuses to fade away. But it transforms, shifts shape, becomes a more tolerable burden. The comfort of a friend, a soft bed, or a plate of cookies can make all the difference in the world. Because let's face it, cookies make everything better. It's full of instant photos. What a surprise. Mom took her camera with her everywhere, and guess who was her favorite subject? Oh, here she is. My mom, Morwen. Oh, beautiful, wasn't she? Oh, that was after Tristan's weird obsession with becoming a rope dancer. Didn't end too well for him, to no one's surprise. He really is one big doofus. But he's my doofus. <laughs> what the heck? Who is this? Okay. What's that shining behind those boxes? What's that strange light? Vale, ¿qué tengo que hacer? La caja. I'll move these out of the way. Sí. Whoa. Nobody's gonna believe this. Curious, but not without fear, Prim approached the circle of light that had manifested right in front of her. Before she could reach it, there he was. Out of the portal stepped a hooded skeleton with eyes as black as the darkest night. And in a voice that sounded more in Prim's head than in her ears, the monster spoke to her. I am Death, your father. And from now on, you are my ward. Humans have absolutely no idea what to do when they encounter the Grim Reaper. So, after carefully weighing up all their options, most of them pick the obvious thing and just drop dead. In Prim's case, Thanatos had made sure that wouldn't happen. Thus, when she met him, she only died a little bit. And she changed. Just enough so that he could take her to his realm. And as she was carried into the portal by her long absent father, Prim left behind a whole life. A faithful friend and a broken camera. Prim? Prim? No matter how often or how loudly Tristan called her name, Prim was nowhere to be found. 
Oh, poor dear. Little did Prim know she had been transported to a place where mortals can only go once their life has come to an end. The Realm of the Dead. The dead. Parte 1. Un gesto funesto. El reino de los muertos. Tres días y dos horas después. O sea, el día de su cumpleaños, justo. Well, happy birthday to me, I guess. Can I come in? As if you wouldn't if I said no. Is it a bad time? Me secuestraste. Siempre es un mal momento. Since you kidnapped me, it's always a bad time. We have already discussed this countless times. Yes, but you never listen. I... I know today is a special day for you. I assume you and your mother celebrated your... What do you care? You killed her. I did not kill anyone, Prim. People manage that all on their own. I just hope their souls pass into the afterlife. Then why can't I go see her? We have already talked about this. Your mother has moved on, across the river, to Elysium. That is where my sphere of influence ends, and yours too. She is beyond our reach. So, <clears throat> I, um, I wanted you to have this. It's not wrapped like you might be used to, but it has been passed on in our family from generation to... What am I supposed to do with a stupid pocket knife? Well, for one, it's not a knife, it's a scythe. Whatever. You're gone all day just to finally show up with a gift that's as useless as all the other trash you expect me to waste my time with. I understand you are not in the mood for talking right now. I will return later. I'm late for work anyway. Wait. Yes? Este no es mi lugar. Aquí no hay nada que hacer. ¿Esperas que me pase todo el día sentada? Ha estado ausente toda mi vida. ¿Qué, ¿Qué te da el derecho a tomar decisiones por mí ahora? Mm. Es que las tres son... son correctas. Pero bueno, le voy a decir la última. You've been absent all my life. How do you have the right to decide for me now? I had to go away to fulfill my duty here. Your mother understood this. Don't act like you knew her. But I did. After we ended our liaison... Liaison? Oh, God, spare me the details. That's an image I don't want. We agreed that you would remain with her in the land of the living, and I would return to my obligations. But now she is gone, and here we are. Yeah, here we are. Ah, puedo decirle todas las... Todas la, las la, la frase. No sé si habrá una final que, que corte la conversación. There's nothing to do here. Do you expect me to sit around all day? I knew I would not be able to spend much time with you. So, in anticipation of your arrival, I have gathered a wide array of playthings, reading material, and educational items for you. It is more than any child could want. Um, but I'm not a child. Can't you get that into your big, dumb, dead, hollow head? What would I do with a rocking horse? It is a toy with an interesting history. The earliest examples can be traced back to the Middle Ages. The functionality is both simple and timeless. You climb into the saddle, and by shifting your weight back and forth, you... It's useless. Talking to you is useless, Thanatos. I don't belong here! All souls belong here, eventually. It is the natural order of things. Oh, taking a girl hostage. Very natural. You are not a hostage. I am your father. Now that your mother can no longer care for you, the duty has fallen to me. 
and I can only do it in my realm. I must not neglect my work. But I... Enough! My decision is final. I had a life, and you stole it from me. I had a friend. There are plenty of beings in my realm. I will allow you to meet them so you can make new friends. But only once you stop your fruitless attempts to escape, of course. You can wait for that till you drop dead. Very funny. ¿Puedo visitar a Tristan, por lo menos? Can't I at least visit Tristan? You absolutely cannot. It's too dangerous. Dangerous? Uh, I can look after myself. That is not what I mean. So, what do you mean? You... You might have changed. Oh, you mean the hair? Oh, that's not bad, actually. No, that is not it. Have you noticed any other changes in your body lately? Ugh, Thanatos, gross! I assume that is a no. That is a mind your own damn business. Everything you say just sounds like a feeble excuse to me. You abandoned us. My whole life, I didn't have a father. And sometimes that sucked pretty hard. But all in all, I was okay. I had mom. Do you know what's even worse than not having a father? Finding out you do have one, and he's a huge disappointment. And you can bet your oversized gothic bathrobe, I'm gonna find a way to get back with or without your help. You will address me with respect. If I had spoken to my father like this, he would have... Oh, was your daddy mean to you? Is that how you got this way? Enough! I tried my best to be nice to her, Morwen, just as I promised. And now see where it has gotten us. I knew it. The very idea of death having a child is absurd. I have more important things to do. I think it is best you stay safe in your room. You will not leave until I allow it. Fine. Fine. Lanzar la guadaña de bolsillo. A ver. Wow, he really did lock the door from the outside. Oh, I have to find a way to get back home. But first, I need to get out of this room. Um, what was that? Tarea salir de mi cuarto. Ah, no puedo leer más atrás. Hola, mamá. Ya veo por qué me ocultaste quién era mi padre. ¿A qué no adivinas? Me tienes secuestrada en el reino de los muertos. Pero ten por seguro que no voy a quedarme aquí mucho tiempo. He hecho de menos. Regalo misterioso. How did this get here? What kind of beastie are you? <laughs> Shy little fellow. Eh, just wait. I'm gonna get you. I wanted to throw it over myself and pretend I was a ghost, but Thanatos said that would be cultural appropriation. Your parents must have crossed a few biological and ethical lines. I can't reach it from here. Al final la guadaña no la tiró ni nada. Tiene. The, bir the birthday present Thanatos got me. You know, sitting for this portrait was one of the maybe five times I've seen Thanatos since I got here. Ugh, I hated every minute of it. The only good thing was that Thanatos' sister Kiris was there too. Talking with her has been my one silver lining. Um, Samael the Red. Oh, I think he's famous for something they call casket ball down here. Ugh, demons in shorts.
<sighs> Seems Thanatos brought a souvenir from one of his last reapings. I can't believe I'm doing this. Very oily. It's pretty oily. Graciento. My only way out! Thanatos locked it from the outside. Thanatos says it's a family heirloom. I say it's a back scratcher. I'll call you Limby. Brazo de esqueleto. It leads to Thanatos' study. Uh, what was Thanatos thinking? I'm much too old for rocking horses. And I don't fit into the saddle. Not that I tried. <laughs> this might be the only nice thing in here. Thanatos says the glowing thingies are called hot spots. Whatever that means. There's some sticky, sweet-smelling goo at the bottom. It was probably used to attract the fireflies. Hmm. I'd love to free the glowing thingies, but I can't get the lid off. My palms are too sweaty. Hmm. A ver si uso la guadaña para cortar el tarro. It worked! Fly, little hotspots! Your time in captivity is over! Oh, they aren't leaving. They want to stay with me, their savior, so we can go on adventures together. Okay... Pulsa espacio para mostrar los puntos interactivos. Vale, esto es lo típico de, de las aventuras gráficas. But ¿Qué te dice? I think one of them flew into my diary. Si le das, te aparecen los puntos, los lugares que puedes examinar. No, I really can't move it. Thanatos would literally kill me if I scratched the floor. I mean, it's what he does all day long, so it's not like it would take much to drive him to do it. I have no idea what to look up. Thanatos says that contrary to popular belief, Vampire X is the only thing that can keep vampires away, whereas garlic only drives away your loved ones. The tag says, warning may irritate eyes. Puede causar irritación a los ojos. Este bicho es un ojo. Other girls have walk-in closets. I've got a two-story walk-on bookshelf. Hooray. It won't move. Looks like the wheels are rusty. Bien, hemos visto antes que el ectoplasma decía que it's pretty... Es graciento. Mmm, that should do the trick. Okay, let's give this another try. Well, that ectoplasm makes for one hell of a lubricant. Aquí arriba no hay nada. If only I could cut it. Other girls have walk-in clay. ¿Cómo corto el hilo de la telaraña? Con la guadaña no llega, ¿verdad? Es pequeña. This might work. Oh, but it's too high for me to reach it. Si junto la guadaña Con el brazo. Hey, the arm serves as an extension for the scythe. Now I only need something to use my new invention with. I can't reach it from here. Ah, me puedo subir a la butaca. Pero cuando me acerco se va. 
Ahora no. Ahí está. What now? ¿Cómo distraigo al aracnóculo para cortar el hilo de la araña? A ver, tenemos aquí el Vampirex que se supone que puede causar irritación al, en los ojos. Ahora que no me ve... Just my luck, the skeleton arm broke. I'll get rid of it. Hey, stay there! And it's gone again. Just great. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling it's making fun of me? Sí, si subo aquí arriba hará lo mismo, aparecerá aquí, pero, pero, pero tengo un tarro. Si lo coloco aquí. Maybe if I put this in here. <risa> yes. Let's put the lid back. Yes! Gotcha! I won! <laughs> oh, don't cry! How about this? If I let you out of that jar, will you be a good demon creature and stay in my pocket? Okay, I trust you. Don't make me regret it. But you need a name. Hmm, I think I will call you... Ginito. Retina Casimiro Telarañez. Esto es muy largo. Retina. Retina. She seems to like it. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but somehow you're pretty adorable. Y en él sí puede pasar por la grieta. Okay, Retina. I have a mission for you. Can you squeeze through the crack and bring me the key to my door? Oh, good. You're so cute. Good luck. I should keep an eye on this eye. I cannot work. I cannot even hold a single thought. Thank Hades, there is no ache a soothing pipe and a relaxing tune cannot cure. Tiene las llaves aquí. Obviamente, directamente no, no lo va a hacer. ¿Ah? ¿Mm? <risa> no me va a dejar subir. We need the key to open it. Hey, where are you going? Don't forget to bring me the keys. Don't leave me hanging. si puedo subir botón izquierdo botón derecho quick get out of there No, 
Las llaves no se pueden recoger. A la pipa. No se puede hacer nada. Bien, romper la radio es para que deje la pipa aquí. ¿Qué más? Pero hierbas extrañas. Hierba extraña, hierba extraña. Tenemos el libro de herboristería. Tenemos el libro aquí que decía, no sé para qué sirve. Thanks, Rotina. So, how do I find out what kind of plants these are? Con el libro. Death Blooms, a most likely incomplete encyclopedia of dead and undead flora. Let's see if I can find my two planty friends in here. A magical identification key. Oh, well, that's what I call a coincidence. Mm, bien, o sea, hay que copiar las características de cada planta aquí. O sea, una es blanca. ¿Qué forma tiene? Mellada. Sí, es igual. El tallo es irregular. Tiene espinas, sí o no. Sí, pues ya está, sería esa, ¿no? One of, one of the plants from... Está bien, ¿no? Es mellada, irregular. A ver. No, no es irregular. Puede ser rizada, no. Y recta también. Recta. It looks exactly like the white plant I found. White Widow, also known as Hypno's Finest, known for its narcotic effect, which is unfortunately so weak that it only kicks in when the subject is already very tired. Perfect. Vale, vale. O sea, es un narcótico, pero es muy, muy débil. Solo sirve cuando la persona está muy cansada. La otra como la activo. Sí. Nope. Nope. No. No sé cómo activarla. Ah, no, claro. No hay que activarla. Simplemente hay que cambiarle los... A ver. Flor. Gris. Porque no creo que sea negra, ¿no? O sí. Vamos a probar con negro. Eh, forma de flor tubular sí forma de tallo irregular no tiene espina if it isn't the black plant my little friend gave me acheron swamp trumpet famous for amplifying the subject's perception of music and therefore often used at the river spirits wild parties bien ya veo ya veo cómo es esto. Tenemos una planta Swamp Trumpet, famous for amplifying the que aumenta la percepción musical. Music. Y la otra planta que solo funciona cuando estás cansado. Entonces, vamos a... Voy a romper otra vez la, la radio. Voy a ponerle esta planta. But don't overdose him. Put in just enough for one drag. Es la planta de percepción musical. A ver lo que hace.
Y ahora se cansa. Y ahora que está cansado, vuelvo a hacer lo mismo. Y ahora la planta para que se duerma. De todas formas, antes dijo que, que llegaba tarde al trabajo y sigue aquí. Y ahora debería quedarse dormido. Y ahora sí puedo robarle las llaves. Finally, let's get out of here. What are you doing? You can't... Just great. Whoa, that feels weird. You'll have to forgive her. She does that a lot. Curious, is that you? Do you have any other ants? So, it was from you. The present with the eyeball thingy did you think i'd forget my favorite niece of sweet 16 you do know i'm your only niece right you're the only one i remember at least but i'm not very good with these things so you're running away again maybe this is where you're going to tell me to stay right actually no I mean, of course I can't let you run away. I've kind of gotten used to seeing your grumpy little face around here. But I understand it's been a rough time for you. And you didn't even have a chance to say goodbye to... Oh, me and names. What's his name again? Hmm. Tristan. Yes, Tristan. So I will grant you... A visit. A visit? Yes. Go and find your friend. Tell him you're okay and tell him what's happened. Or tell him whatever version you think he'll be able to comprehend. Don't forget, you're not entirely human anymore. You might appear creepier to him than you think. Okay, uh, got it. And afterward, come back. Come back to us and get to know your new home better. Pero es que no quiero vivir con él. O oh, la verdad es que no sé si alguna vez me sentiré aquí como en casa. Mm. La primera. But I seriously don't want to live with him. And if he's being honest, he doesn't want that either. That's all you get for now, Casket Nail. Take it or leave it. Fine. Promise me you'll come back afterward. I promise. Just think of me as your dark fairy godmother, who's telling you to enjoy yourself at the Prince's Ball, but also to be back before the clock strikes 12. Or, in your case, before the effects of the herbs you gave your father wear off. But that's not the tricky part. What is the tricky part? You first need to find a way to open a portal to the land of the living. Can't you just tell me how? I'm afraid I can't. Only Thanatos knows how to travel between the worlds. Ugh, shoot. So, how can we figure it out? Thanatos always comes in here and just disappears. Well, since it happens in this room, that's the first clue, I guess. The answer is hidden somewhere in that stubborn, bony head of his. Wait, that's it? What? Your present, Prim. The eye. I totally forgot about it. <laughs> it can show you... things. What things? People's secrets. Or rather, their secrets in connection to objects around them. 
I like to call it spider vision. It's hard to explain. Just try it out and you'll see. Okay. Elige el al arquinóculo de tu inventario y úsalo con un con un personaje. Ahora elige un objeto del escenario para revelar los secretos de ese personaje. Un objeto del escenario. There seems to be nothing to uncover. Nope. Nothing. <sighs> Not the slightest trace of an interesting secret here. I don't sense a secret here. El disco. There seems to be nothing to uncover. Pues no sé qué, qué hay que revelar. Colección de discos. Whoa. This secret is strong. So strong that I think it wants to take shape. When a certain record is played. Vale. Which one? Y si lo hago con Keres? I don't think Keres has a secret worth discovering. <laughs> Me repite lo mismo. Se lo ha olido, es verdad. No. Ahora sí se repite. A ver, colección de discos. A ver, pero claro, no sabemos a qué huele. AC. Bueno, esto en inglés, Dust Black. Es que no sé qué vas a hacer. De, er, de olerlos a todos. Ramsés. Son juegos de palabras en inglés todo. The Rolling Bones. Huele la música. Edición especial con más olor a lo rancio. Es este. from Thanatos' collection. It's the greatest hits album of Joe Stygian? Voy a guardar. Y voy a colocar el disco ahí. It's the greatest hits album of Joe Stygian? Close your eyes and think of your destination. The portal will do the rest. And don't forget... I know, I know, it's just a visit. Actually, I was going to say, don't forget to have fun. It's your birthday, after all. Carries? Yes, dear? Thank you. No problem. Now go, before I change my mind. Home. Home. Home? Tristan is. Oh, that's so 
sweet. Oh, look here, sis. Don't get sentimental. <sighs> Just leave me be, Clotho. Atropos offered to show her sisters what happened next. Wait! Not yet! First I want to know what happened to the boy after death took Prim away. After Tristan returned to the attic and found that Prim was gone, he raised the alarm, and the whole town started searching for the missing girl. The search went on for days. They left no stone unturned in the hope that Prim could be found at last. But eventually, finding not even a trace of her, they gave up. All of them? No. Tristan refused to give up hope. He kept on searching in the strangest places, together with his father. Watch your step, son. That edge right there, it's a pretty steep drop. Yes, Dad, I know. So, have they heard anything about Prim at the orphanage? No. I'm not really sad that she didn't end up there, though. Oh, don't worry, Tristan. We'll keep on searching until we find her. Yeah. By the way, I still don't understand why I had to wait down here. Seriously, Dad? You would have just tried to wow the kids with your silly tricks again. And I would have begged the ground to swallow me up. Silly tricks? I beg your pardon, young man. Dad! You're a math teacher! But that's already bad enough! But why do you want to be a carny too? It's so humiliating! A carny? I am a mathematician, Tristan. A math magician? What's that supposed to be, anyway? Weren't you listening the last time I told you? Oh no. Why did I even ask? Mathemagic, Tristan, is probably the most ancient form of sorcery there is. Pythagoras, Archimedes, Euclid, they all possess the power to weave enchantments with their theorems. The harmony of numbers, the elegance of geometric proportions, and the ethereal music of the cosmos were all at their fingertips. And now, it is up to me and my esteemed colleagues to follow in their majestic footsteps. In comparison to conventional illusionists, we may not be many, but we are a guild. You can definitely... Don't say it. Please don't say it. Count on! <laughs> oh, boy. Can we just go, Dad? That old donkey of yours has already slowed us down enough. Sure thing. These woods are pretty deep. Luckily, we have a map. But first, let me show you the trick I was practicing while you were gone. Prefiero tirarme por este acantilado, riendo como un loco y reventar en mil pedazos. Gracias, pero no. No quiero ver el truco de verdad. Fine. Oh, I knew you'd be as excited as I am. Would you mind holding this firecracker for a second? Uh, um, Dad? How many times have I told you, son? Call me Mr. Calculor when we're on stage together. I I'm not sure if this is a good idea. Now, where is that cursed protractor? D Dad? Oh, it's gonna be here somewhere. Uh, uh... Is this thing supposed to burn down so quickly? Tristan, there's nothing to be afraid of. The trick is perfectly safe as long as you don't... <laughs> Drop the firecracker! That was our only map! And our only donkey, I suppose. <laughs> Sorry. It'd take weeks to get through these woods without a map. What about poor Rainbow? She gets anxious when she's alone. Eh, hey, ¿y ahora qué hacemos sin un mapa y sin burra? What do we do now? With no map and no donkey? Well, we'll need to get a new map somewhere. And we'll need to find Rainbow. Make her come back. A map and the donkey. Got it. Dad, don't worry. I'll take care of it. Are you... Are you sure, son? Why shouldn't I? Well, I mean, Tristan, you tend to be a little... clumsy sometimes. I know. But trust me on this one, Dad. I'm sure I'll figure something out. 
please? Fine. But let me know if you need any help, okay? I will. La cartera. It sounds like there's money in here. Con dinero. Nope. It was just a. Solo un, un botón de metal. According to the inscription, it was made at the other mother button factory. What a weird name. Bien. Y este tiene no no me dice qué hacer. Mapa de senderismo. Liking hiking. The most enjoyable hiking trails of Brentleton County. I wonder if this could serve as a substitute for our old map. But it's behind this glass pane. Mm. Hay un cristal. Folleto. Visitor, you are currently admiring Cliff Cliff, named after the famous witch hunter general Matthew Cliff, who used to perform witch trials here. The alleged witches were pushed off the cliff. If they floated up to the sky, instead of falling into the abyss, their guilt was considered proven. Every other Thursday, the Frendleton Historic Society hosts a reenactment of these events. Bring your mothers in law. Tornillo. Vale, creo que ya veo. El típico truco de usar un botón o una moneda para abrir los tornillos. It won't move. No. This screw seems to be stuck. Porque está atascado, no porque no sea eso. Y este, ese sí. Did the trick. Bien, entonces nos falta algo para desatascar este tornillo. Fruto blanco. Hmm. No dice nada. Someone once said that when you look into the abyss, the abyss also looks into you. Prim hated the thought of ending up in a place like that. I hope she's okay, wherever she is. What can I do for you, son? Estás enfadado conmigo. Eso es lo que no le preguntó antes. Are you mad at me? No, son. I should have known better. Maybe the trick just doesn't compute. It was my fault, Dad. I'm sorry. It's okay. Eh, ¿Qué era lo que necesitábamos? Ya lo sé. ¿Qué me puedes contar sobre Arcoiris? What can you tell me about Rainbow? My good old donkey. I'm amazed she can still pull the caravan all by herself. Never skipped leg day, not once in her life. Also, she's on a pretty strict diet. All self-imposed, not my idea. When it comes to food, the old lady's pretty picky, to be honest. But don't tell her I said that. Ah, don't worry. Your weird donkey secrets are safe with me. See you in a minute, Dad. Don't go too far. I won't. Bien, puede que los frutos blancos sean lo que atraigan a la burra. Puede ser. A ver, carromato. Imagine being taken to school in this. Material matemático. Matemágico. This is so embarrassing. Why can't Dad have a normal midlife crisis, like everybody else? This is so... Todo es lo mismo. Todo es material matemático. ¿Qué más tenemos por aquí? Frutos grises. Cartel de se busca de Prim. I've plastered these posters everywhere, but it's been totally useless. Nobody has seen Prim since she vanished. Vale, frutos negros. There you are, old girl. Fruto gris claro. Charco de babas. This is one of those not with my bare hands situations. This feels wrong. Las babas pueden servir fruto gris oscuro. Las babas pueden servir para aflojar los tornillos, pero claro, necesito no lo va a recoger con las manos. 
Entonces, ¿qué? El sombrero. Interesting headgear for a donkey. A ver, le voy a dar los frutos así directamente. No quiere. Well, she seems hungry. What am I doing wrong? Gris claro. Tampoco. Los negros. No. Los grises. Los grises sí. There you go. Good girl. Pero solo ha salido un poquito nada más. Well, ah, es un orden. What am I doing wrong? Pues que hay un orden. O sea, primero los grises. Luego a lo mejor, no sé, los blancos. Grises, blancos. Gris claro. No. Y se echa para atrás. Grises. Blanco. Negro. No. Pues son los... Gris oscuro. ¿Y ahora cuál? Gris claro. No, me he equivocado. Pero bueno, ya sé el orden entonces. Grises. Blancos. Gris oscuro. Gris claro. No, entonces me falta uno. Se me ha olvidado un fruto por aquí. Un sitio donde haya un fruto que no me haya llevado. Interesting headgear for a donkey. No, no, ya los he probado todos. Ah, es los negros. Entonces, sí que estaba bien. Y el claro, ¿no? Y ya está. Rainbow, darling, she came back at last. Oh, son, you've done it. Now we only need a new map. Lo que hay que hacer es recoger las babas. I really don't want to. Pero cómo? The thought alone makes me uncomfortable. Ya el sombrero no se puede seleccionar. Y me imagino que si voy a intentar ir aquí, va a decir que no. No way, I'm going in there alone. But these woods are huge! And I have dendrophobia. ¿Qué puedo utilizar para llevarme la baba? What can I do for you, son? 
Creo que puedo hacer salir arcoíris de entre los arbustos con los frutos. Pero a ver, eso no debería estar aquí. Si ya lo he hecho. See you in a minute, Dad. Don't go too far. I won't. This is so embarrassing. Why can't Dad have a normal midlife crisis like everybody else? Lo mismo de antes. Y se me escapa. Eh, lo único que puedo hacer es hablar con el padre con todas las opciones. A ver. I'm not getting within drooling range of that gem spreader again, unless I have to. Y a ver si el padre me da algo. No. Hmm. What can I do for you, son? Uh, <laughs> what do we need again? We need a new map of these woods. What can you tell me about Rainbow? My good old donkey. I'm amazed she can stop the caravan all by herself. Never skipped leg day. Also, mismo de antes. Me lo voy a saltar. Ah, oh, don't worry. Y esto no tiene sentido ahora. I think I can lure Rainbow out of the bushes with the berries, but she seems to be very choosy about them. That's my girl, a real diva. Rainbow loves berries, but it's all about feeding them to her in the right order. Can't you just tell me the right order then? You see, that's the problem. I always forget it. So, I made myself a reminder. So what is the reminder? Yeah, uh, yes, well, <laughs> that's the next problem. I also forgot what the reminder was. <laughs> I should have made a reminder for that, too. Oh, Dad. Ahí, claro, claro, sigue saliendo. Esto es un fallito del juego. Se supone que hay algo que me dice el orden de los frutos. Pero bueno, si lo haces como lo he hecho yo, ya no hace falta. And you really don't have a clue where you hit the correct order to feed the berries to Rainbow. Keep your hat on, son. I'm sure you'll eventually solve this equation. See you in a minute, Dad. Don't go too far. I won't. One of the screws that are holding the glass pane in place. But by hand. It's absolutely ununscrewable. It won't move. This screw seems to be stuck. I really don't want to. This feels wrong. Why would he want that? Imagine being taken to school in this. Well, no sé qué hacer. This is so... Why can't Dad have a... Ah, lo mismo. one of those not with my bare hand situations I'm not getting within drooling range of that gem spreader again unless I have to Together. Uh, 
this feels wrong. It seems like she isn't hungry anymore. A ver si... Ah, un trapo. Ahí está. No lo había visto. Iba a usar lo de las luciérnagas. A ver si hay, había algo que no haya mirado. Trapo con charco. Ugh. I'm not entirely sure why I did that. Me neither. Especially when you consider quite how many perfect <laughs> clean rain puddles there are all around here. <sighs> Pues lo has hecho porque se supone que las babas deberían desatascar el tornillo. Due to the goo, unscrewing this bad boy just got a lot easier. That time it works. The perfect cry. No se lleva ningún cristal. Bien, a ver, el folleto. Dear visitor, you are currently named. The... No se lo lleva. Every other Thursday. Es lo mismo de antes. But bring your mother's in law. Y el mapa sí se lo va a llevar. I got a new map. Great son. You're a capable young man, Tristan. I should trust you more. Forgive me. It's okay, Dad. D don't get emotional. Emotional? Me? Never. A and Dad? Yes, son? Uh, th thank you for doing this with me. D driving from place to place. Looking for my friends. It means the world to you, so of course I'll help you. Because you mean the world to me. So, it appears all our variables are properly aligned. Ready to go, Tristan? Yes. Uh, just a moment, please. Oh, take your time. Prim, wherever you are, we will find you. But we need your help. If only you could give us a sign. Happy to breathe our boring, regular air. Okay. Okay, now I need to find Tristan. Together we'll find a place to hide, so I never have to go back there again. Promise or no promise? <gasps> Trist- Huh? Who are you? Don't you recognize me? It's me, Prim! But, but you don't look like her. What? Oh, yeah, right. Um, long story, actually. D don't come any closer. So, what's going on? I said stay back! Ah, que se cae por el precipicio. It really is me. Am I hallucinating? Oh my god, am I going crazy? Y se muere. Ya nos han dicho durante toda la aventura que Tristan es muy patoso. Se va a caer. Stay where you are! Tristan, watch out behind you, the abyss! You. Always. No, no se muere. It really is you. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Prim, you're back. As they hugged, 
the two friends forgot about the world around them. But all that mattered was that they were together again. They were home. Technically, our story could be over now. Unfortunately, it was not that kind of story. Wait, what's the matter? Is this something... Something's happening to me. Prim? Tristan? Ah, pues sí que se muere. No. This can't be real. Are you... Death? <gasps> what? No! I... I didn't! I... I, I just... You killed him. Oh, help! Somebody help me! Wait, wait! I'm getting sick! Oh. Right on time, Cinderella. What's the matter? I... 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 I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I just touched him. I... Calm down, love. Tell me what happened. Tristan, I found him, but he was about to fall. I I wanted to save him, so I reached out my hand, and I think my touch killed him. Oh, Prim. No, I don't want to hurt you. I'm sure you won't. Whatever it is, I'm certain it only affects mortals. What's happened to me? Oh, stupid, forgetful me. I should have anticipated this. Coming here must have awakened abilities you inherited from your father. So I am a monster? <laughs> oh, darling. I can't lose Tristan, too! Don't cry. It's not your fault. And with practice, you'll surely be able to control your power. Oh, what does it matter? He's dead, and Thanatos will kill me. He'll punish both of us, actually. Hold on. Just hold on a minute. What if... What if we could save your friend? What are you talking about? In theory, it's possible. I've read about it. And I remember this time for a change. It's called the Orpheus Method. But we have to act quickly. Your friend's soul hasn't completely connected to the realm of the dead yet. But soon, bringing him back to life will be impossible. To perform the Orpheus method, we need three things. First, you have to find Tristan's soul. He probably couldn't pay for the ferry to Elysium, so his soul should be floating in the river Styx. Go to the harbor and ask the ferryman to take you on the river. Second, we need Tristan's life thread. A life thread? Yes, every living being has one. You'll find them at the Morai's place. They are the goddesses of fate responsible for spinning, measuring, and cutting the threads. But how will I recognize Tristan's thread among so many? It will be torn, not cut, since his death wasn't natural. So I assume it would look different from the others. And what's the third thing? Third, we need something from the one creature that holds the secret of rebirth. You mean... A phoenix. phoenix. Exactly. We'll need one of its feathers. It lives in the Forbidden Forest. Here, take this map. Thank you. But what will we tell the old man? Oh, we won't tell him anything. Trust me, he's obsessed with his responsibility to protect the balance of life and death. He'd do anything to stop us. Not a word to your father, okay? Okay! It's probably best if you tell him you've had a change of heart about staying here and getting to know the realm. Or even better, make him think it was all his idea. He loves that. He'll be thrilled to send you off exploring the realm, and you can collect everything we need. Don't worry, I'll stay here and make sure he's distracted. There's only one more problem. Another one? Yes. We'll need to get into my lab to carry out the Orpheus method. It's in a room I rented at the Misty Moira Tavern, where the Fates live. So? I might have forgotten to pay the rent once or twice or twelve times. Oh. Yeah. 
And I'm afraid I'm not allowed into my lab anymore. The fates took away my key. Do you think you can help me with that too? Getting my key back? Don't worry, I'll figure something out. Thank you, Prim. Okay, let's sum it up. I need to get the key to your lab. And I'll have to find Tristan's soul, his life thread, and a phoenix feather so we can do this Orpheus thing. Exactly. Hold on, Tristan. I'll save your soul. Hmm. An afternoon nap? How oh, very unusual. My duty! The souls! What if- Don't worry. I kept an eye on things while you were sleeping. You're getting old, big brother. I am not getting old. The concept of time holds no importance for the Kiris. You let her out of her room? I did. Thanatos, it's Prim's birthday, remember? And I'm sure she'd love to spend it without being caged like Typhon. Oh, she would not have it any other way. I tried to meet her halfway, but she... She's 16. Not living up to her father's expectations is basically her job. You are exceeding your authority. Know your place, sister. I wouldn't dare. I, I just want to help. Remember, I was a teenage daughter once too. And you know what father was like. Ugh. You are free, child. For now. And? And? I'm sorry. I should not have locked you up. <sighs> on your birthday. Or on any other day. <clears throat> Wait. What is that thing in your skull, child? Oh, that was my birthday present to her. Cute, isn't it? I do not. Uh, Prim, wouldn't you like to tell your father what you told me? That I'd rather... Prefiero que me obliguen a comer carne sospechosa de la cafetería del cole toda una semana a quedarme aquí contigo. Prefiero escuchar uñas arañando una pizarra durante 12 horas seguidas en bucle a quedarme aquí contigo. O prefiero asistir a una charla ilustrada de 3 horas sobre la historia de la pelusa a quedarme aquí contigo. Yo creo que da igual la que elija. Va a decir otra cosa distinta. Um, darling, remember, you told me you wanted to learn more about the realm of the dead, but you just didn't know how. Is that true? I think so. Uh, for example, por ejemplo, ¿por qué tiene huesos estampados en la túnica? Así no parece que vas desnudo, <ríe> es verdad. Entonces, esto de aquí, lo que se ve por aquí, no son sus huesos. Son dibujos de huesos. ¿Cómo haces para visitar a toda la gente que muere? No sé, me parece totalmente imposible. ¿Aquí hacéis algo para divertiros alguna vez? Voy a decir en la segunda. How can you visit all the people who die? I mean, that sounds absolutely impossible. I do not visit all of them. Most find the path on their own. Only a small number require special care. Ah, le puedo decir las otras dos. Why are there bones printed on your robe? Doesn't that look like, you know, like you're naked? I am an almost all-knowing, almighty being. Are you sure this is the kind of question you would like to ask me? No? No. Of course not. But... Do you people down here ever have any fun? What a strange thing to ask. We underworldlings find pleasure in numerous activities. First and foremost, in a good old-fashioned round of cards. Cards? Really? Oh, not just any cards. Here in the realm of the dead, we collect casketball playing cards. Just keep your eyes open. Owing to my subject's tendency toward uh, untidiness, cards can be found lying around everywhere. 
Once you have a deck of eight cards, you can challenge other players. Okay, that was actually much more information than I wanted to know. Here, take this card box and your very first card. Alice. Bueno, aquí he visto al principio que había algo nuevo. ¿Será otra carta o será esta misma? What else do you wish to learn? Oh, brother, you of all people know there are things you can't learn by studying. You have to experience them. I have a solution. My daughter, I will allow you, within strict limitations, to wander and explore the realm as you please. Get to know the customs of your new home and learn to fit in here. And do not even think of running away. I will be keeping an eye on you, young lady. Young lady? <laughs> Ugh. Up your bony old... Good, good. Off you go, girl, before he changes his mind again. So, you bought her a pet. So many tragedies. So much death. I thought this would be a story about hope. There was always hope. It was the very core of any being's existence. Spare me your pseudo-philosophical explanation, sister. Can we go now? We have more important things to do. Yes. Death's daughter would cross our path soon anyway. Good luck, little flower. <laughs> <laughs> 